I haven't made a updated video on the uh, where I'm at on my Barracuda for a while. I don't know where I was on my last one. Um, don't know if I've even made one about this one yet. Uh, I started the that's a regular Barracuda MK2 and ran into some issues with my tubing and ended up pulling the plug on it for now and decided to build a Barracuda R. And clearly I've got the chassis made. Uh, <clears throat> they use the same uh, rear suspension components and basically the same front suspension components, a few minor differences, but same shocks. So basically the big ticket stuff I already had and all I had to do was build the chassis. So I got the chassis done, uh, got the differential is in, located, welded in. Uh, just, just recently got the engine mounted. Still gonna do a little bit of brace work on my mounts, but it's in there. It's a ZX12R uh, Kawasaki engine, 1200cc. Um, a couple panels, just kind of starting out. I'm probably gonna scrap both of these, but uh, I was just kind of experimenting. I haven't ever done any stuff with Zeus buttons and was trying to get a feel for that. So just kind of dinked around out here for an afternoon on a Sunday and made those up. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make stuff, possibly make that whole side out of one piece or make a longer front that overlaps the back and try to get, I wanna get everything wrapped tight. Uh, not necessarily airtight, airtight, but tighter. Try to keep dirt and dust out. And uh, gonna make a panel for the foot box to go between the foot box and the, the cabin area. Uh, all this is in here. Probably will mount my reservoirs right here on the frame rail. Power steering unit is mounted, located. I uh, got the rack over there, it's ready to go in. So just wanted to post a little update. There's a significant difference in how much work is entailed in an R and in the MK2s. And I think this one's supposed to be six inches wider and 10 inches longer, but I mean, it absolutely dwarfs the MK2. But for, the, for these, it's just, X's for days, the roof is X'd, the sides X'd, that's X'd, the foot box is X'd, the dash bar is X'd. Um, it's got like this six point X in the, in the center behind the driver. Uh, the, one of the bigger differences is they've opened up the engine area quite a bit. The MK2 is basically done, the chassis is. I'm probably gonna finish it and sell it to a friend of mine, but I was just surprised how big a difference that little few inches made in the overall appearance of it. So I'm going to mount a spare tire on the back on the roof and probably some LED light bar across the top and possibly some LEDs up here up front. Uh, this one also uses, instead of a dual master cylinder, it uses a, or I should say instead of a dual brake pedal setup like the MK2 uses, this one uses a Willwood dual master cylinder that has a bias adjustment. Uh, there, so, like I said, I am getting close to putting the wheels on this thing, setting it on the ground, which will be exciting to see it, how it's gonna sit and be able to push it around, steer it, and finish getting stuff mocked up. Got to mount the seat still. That's not the actual seat I'm going to use, but I'm trying to get an idea of where I want the seat to be. Uh, I'm also going to the six lug hubs, although I've got, this is a Polaris bolt pattern on there right now, because that's what I've got. I'm waiting on the six bolt stuff to come from him in Australia. So get get that in there, get, the, get it on the ground and uh, start on my fuel cell, get the radiator mounted. And then it's kind of down to, I got a lot of stuff that's not finished welded still. And I'm going to clean some welds up and this and that and see what I can do on the body. But so this is where I'm at. I don't see too many videos about these on YouTube, especially in America. Really ain't very many videos of them, period. But I would like to get them both outside and I was going to do this before, but... 
I wanted to set them both on sawhorses, the chassis, and compare the size to them. But it's really a stark difference in how much work's entailed, mostly in these X's. Uh, the hip bar on this one is all one piece. Like I said, it is wider. The basic general design is the same, but there are more differences than I could imagine. I, if I ever build another one, it's going to be a hybrid. I, want, I like this chassis design of the R, but I want to build it that size. But there's just there's stuff I like about both of them, and I think it would be fun to do that. But I got to get one done before I start on a third one. So, And like I said, that one is supposedly sold. We'll see what happens. There's still a lot of work to do to actually finish this one out. I'll probably put a smaller, like a 600 on it. So anyways, just wanted to post an update.